Hello, I am back talking about um, stress, creating a stress-free bedtime routine. So I've been talking about strategies for a nice, quiet, calm bedtime routine for children all week. And so today I'm sharing my fourth strategy and that is mindful walking. So transitioning into the bedroom or into bed mindfully. And how do we do that in an engaging way, especially for the younger children? Because mindful walking might not seem very interesting for children, um, but we can make it uh, engaging and playful. So there's a few different ways that you can make mindful walking interesting and engaging to make sure that children do stay focused, enhance their concentration. And when we're talking about bedtime, definitely soothing the nervous system and making sure that they're actually transitioning into bed, feeling quiet, calm, and ready for their tense and release meditation, which if you didn't grab hold of that script yesterday, then make sure you do it through the link uh, in my bio. So I'm gonna share three different ways that we can do mindful walking for bedtime. So I've got a lot of different strategies. I share a lot on my teacher trainings about moving meditations, but three mindful walking strategies that work really nicely, especially before bedtime. So the first one is very simple, getting them to close their eyes and focus on their feet moving on the ground. So obviously you wanna make sure that they're safe when they're doing this, not choosing this technique if they are near stairs or there's lots of toys and things around. But this is a really nice technique, firstly to connect them to their body, and secondly, to get them to start to shut down all of their senses so that that parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest part of the nervous system is really starting to be stimulated, which is what they need to transition into a sleep state. So they close their eyes and they just focus on the, the feeling of the feet moving on the ground. So if you're moving, let's say from the, be the bathroom to the bedroom doing this, they're probably gonna feel different textures on the soles of their feet. So, you know, maybe they're feeling like the wooden floor uh, and then the carpet and then the rug. And so just really getting them to focus on what they can feel, the sensations that they can feel on the bottom of their feet, on the soles of their feet. Um, and because they have their eyes closed, of course, they need to move really softly and slowly because it's very difficult, especially for young children, to actually balance on two feet with their eyes closed. So this is a really nice one if you want to get them to slow down. So if bedtime for you is typically the children are running around, moving very fast, um, and that's just kind of overstimulating them, then doing a mindful walk where their eyes are closed and they just focus on what they can feel on the soles of their feet is a really nice way to get them to slow down and, as I said, move into that rest and digest um, phase ready for sleep. The second way that we can do mindful walking before bed is getting them to listen to all the sounds that they can hear. So if you are transitioning, for example, from downstairs, upstairs to their bedroom, then getting them to really stay focused on every little thing that they can hear. So again, because you want to encourage them, you know, make it playful, asking them to notice every sound, you know, capturing every single sound, then they will automatically start to move very slowly and very quietly because they're trying to notice what can they hear outside? What can they hear? Maybe the AC, maybe they can hear the TV, maybe they can hear uh, their sibling upstairs, the tap running. So they will be really, really mindful and very quiet because they know that they can't capture all of the sounds if they are moving fast and if they are talking lots or singing or maybe even screaming because, you know, bedtime can be a little bit chaotic. So getting them to listen to all the sounds whilst they're slowly walking to their bed is a great technique if bedtime seems to be a little bit noisy for you so it gets them to be quieter and then the third technique that you can do which also promotes them to be quiet and move slowly is noticing all of the colors that they see 
from wherever they are, the bathroom or the kitchen, up into their bed. So this, they are really noticing, they're really looking around, so they're moving very slowly as you encourage them to notice all the different colors and all the different shades of colors. So this one's a, a really great one for the slightly older children. You could get them to focus on all the things that they see that are different shades of blue or different shades of pink. And they will be looking very closely at everything. And again, because they're looking very mindfully, they're so focused and they're moving slowly, um, encouraging them to just kind of capture the colors in their mind rather than shouting it out to you like, ah, oh, that's pink and oh, I can see blue. You know, getting them to capture it in their minds uh, as they transition to their bed. Um, and then once you know they, they get into their bed, you could have a really quiet little discussion about what colors did you see or how many different sounds did you think you, you had or what was your favorite sound or what was the most calming color that you saw. So just having a really quiet little discussion before you then ease them into their gratitude list, which I talked about on Monday, um, their breathing techniques, which I talked about on Tuesday, and then their tense and release meditation, which I talked about yesterday. And you can get hold of that meditation script uh, through the link in my bio. So they are three different mindful walking techniques to help your, help your children to transition from maybe overwhelmed, overstimulated, go, 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 to very slowly, quietly, calmly, softly coming into a rest and digest, relaxed state, ready for their sleep. That again, only takes one to two minutes. If you can make it longer, that's great. You know, really getting them to slow down as much as possible, but it doesn't have to add a lot of time into your bedtime routine. So give that a go. I would love to know which, which mindful walking technique you plan to implement this evening with your children. So leave me a comment below this video and let me know which mindful walk you will be practicing with your children this evening. And tomorrow I will be sharing my final strategy for a peaceful, stress-free bedtime with children. So watch out for my video tomorrow.